This is Chris, the Idaho Painter, bringing you another how-to video on professional painting tips to make your job go a little easier, smoother, and like a professional did it. This is Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, we're going to go over ceiling cut-ins and how to do a proper ceiling cut-in. To do this task, we're using a 4-inch map and I use a purdy white dove 3 8 inch 4 inch map and I also use a purdy sure, sure tip brush and I like 2 and a half inch angled sash brushes and we're using a product from Sure Williams called Treasure Valley Eggshell and we're going to be cutting in the ceiling a different color and we're going to show you how we go about cutting in the ceiling and the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to load up my map and I use a 4 inch a screen bucket in my bucket right here to actually load the nap up and I'm going to roll it on my screen just dip it in slightly to load it up with paint and then get my nap ready and now I'm going to start brushing and cutting in. And I'm just going to dip my brush slightly in about an inch into the paint I'm going to pat it on the side of the bucket and I'm going to set my brush up here on the ceiling and I'm going to begin dragging my brush along the ceiling line doing my cut in and then I drag it one way, about a foot, dip the paint again, and then I bring it back and I drag it the opposite direction, and then just lay down the brush, and then I go back and then back roll it with paint from my mat. That way the stippling will match the stippling from a nap when the wall is rolled. And then I'll go back up. Cut about another foot. I'm going to drag it one direction. And I like to drag it both directions because you know, it'll miss some holes and stuff from the texturing. If you drag it the other direction, it'll actually fill those holes back in that got missed. And if they're still missed, I'll drag it both ways. Just like that. I'll load my nap up and then pull it out. And we always like to do our cut in first before we roll because it'll minimize the haloing. If you roll your walls first and do your cut ins, you'll get possibly a halo across the top of the ceiling. So it's good practice to do your cut ins first and then while the cut ins are wet, then you want to take and roll a wall. So I'll back up here, get into a corner. I'm going to work my way up a corner too to where my cut in is. And I like to take and roll the corners just to make it so the person rolling the wall has an easier time doing the corners. Same practice, it's good to do your corners first so you don't get that halo created by, even though it's the same color, it could show haloing. So I'm going to drag it one way. And if you're new at cut ins, don't got a lot of practice, it's good to hold your breath. Just pat it, and just hold your breath. The opposite direction, if you got to lay it out again, one more time, lay it out again. And then I'll cut it in again. Back the opposite direction. And I can do about three or four feet and then roll so just pat your brush don't dip your bristles too far in you want to dip your bristles just about an inch cut it one direction go back the other direction just use the very tip of the brush to get up there and you're basically drawing a line So I can get about you know, several feet, then go back, back roll it. Bristles in just an inch to half inch, just tap it on the side, just to load up your brush. I'm gonna take I'm gonna place my brush about a half inch from the ceiling, then I'm gonna work it up. Just glide it right along. 
you know, go about a foot or so and dip it back in and just going to get right here, work my way up to the ceiling. Do about another foot section. Back roll it. I want to get about about an inch to half inch from the ceiling, just like that. We've got another section above a door here. You can just fill that in to make the person rolling with an 18 inch nap or 9 inch nap a little easier, so they don't have to work above the doors. Once again, I'm going to take place my brush about an inch from the ceiling, and then I'm going to glide and then. Get it right up against the ceiling, back the opposite direction. I'm going to fill it in with four inch knot. Now you want to have somebody rolling behind you to come up about an inch from the ceiling and that way the two wet paints will gel together and won't create your color haloing. This is Chris, the Idaho painter from Boise, Idaho, how to do a ceiling cut in. load up the brush. We're just take and set our brush here and about a half inch away and now we're going to start working the brush up to our cut in and then drag it along. If I want to make corrections if the cut in didn't get filled in right, I'm going to start in the opposite direction, get about a half inch away and just use a few bristles to draw your line. You don't want the whole brush, just a few of the bristles are going to come up to the top and basically draw that line for you. We're not using the whole brush to cut it in, we're just using just the tip of it.
Thanks for watching our videos and don't forget to click that great button right up here and subscribe to our channel or click the button right down here and like us or the other button and share us. This is Chris, the Idaho Painter, videoing to you from Boise, Idaho.